Well, before Ian Duncan Smith's speech, we spoke to body language expert Robert Phipps. Let's catch up with him now for his views on IDS's performance. What do you think? Very passionate, but I don't think it was enough to um, save a, a, a battle for his position. Okay, we've got some uh, clips to look through. Let's look at clip number one first. This is where he starts stepping up to the podium. He's already sort of, if you like, he really milks this applause that he gets because I think he knows that he's on such a battle with his actual speech that it's sort of, take this as much as I can. This will give me the inspiration. He also then, just before he starts, he takes a deep breath and looks upward, literally for inspiration. And then he starts, you know, it's not a very good start. He drinks literally five times in five minutes, so every minute he's at the table and getting a sip. So of he's drink. quite anxious. He's quite anxious. He's very stiff in his movements as he walked in, walked into the hall. There was a lot of double handshakes with other attendees yeah. there. It's just like, please, it's <laughs> please, <laughs> yeah, you know, love me, love, love me, me, love me. Uh, clip number two. Talk us through this one. He's using the hands. These are palm down. These are controlling. He's talking about getting things done it's palm down if he's appealing to people he brings the palms up and brings them in towards the body but this is very much palm down and controlling he's trying to you know, emphasize his leadership do you think he's just forgotten because presumably when he's coached he's told to do this rather than this you could see that there's been a lot of coaching going on one of the his sort of favorite movements throughout was this delicate fingers yet finger yeah. and thumb together it's you know you must grasp this point all the way otherwise you're not going to understand and you're not going to come with us so you must grasp this and okay. at some certain points he's using both hands okay indeed so we saw him do it. and sometimes actually putting both of his hands together yes see again we've got this palm down and it goes to the finger and then it goes to the gripped fist and this is where he comes off about grabbing office and it comes you know the hand is reinforcing what he's actually saying um, he's become much more animated over the whole of this speech he starts off very rigid the one thing that didn't do him any favors is these uh, the auto cue being very low because yeah. he's having to break eye contact and he's breaking his eye contact in a downward direction well when we lie to people we tend to look down so that would have come across to a lot of the people that were just watching a, a little snippet here and there and there were people That's behind him as well which yes. is interesting so he's not moving around he was very stuck you know his feet were almost planted to the floor in the center spot okay. and he's not not brought everybody in with him okay let's have a look at clip number four and see uh, what we're picking up from this one this is about halfway through his speech I think and I tell you this this time this is that where he goes from the punch from the right. It's, let's play a little bit of a joke there, you know, let's punch from the right. The right is coming in here. Mm. Again, it's the overemphasis and the overreinforcement of the words. It's not quite in sync. Mm. Okay. And the last one, which, which uh, caught my eye and you've picked up on as well, <laughs> shaking his head. This was clip number six, I think. I have delivered, Remember. but with a shaking Remember, of the head. Remember, these are the people who put you here okay that was his build up to it and then very shortly after that he, he says i have delivered but he's shaking his head which I is saying no i haven't if he'd have been genuinely i have delivered there would have been more emphasis it would have been i have delivered yes not the other way so out of ten six which is better than perhaps some might have thought that he would have got. Mm, I mean, it's between a six and a seven, but I would say a six there because he's not, what he hasn't done is he hasn't brought the party with him. He hasn't brought the people in the hall with him. He's almost stood there and spouted what he believes and his passion, his conviction, but he's not done anything to bring the people in. And if he increases his flying hours, <laughs> will he Im improve? If he believes in it and if it becomes part of him, then it will, will gel together. There will be no incongruence between the words and the body, and he will be more believable as a person and what he says. Do you think he can do that? At uh, this stage, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Phipps, thank you very much indeed for joining. Look, I'm doing palms at the whole thing. What have I learned? <laughs> I'm, trying to be open. I'm trying to be open. All right, yes.